Hello, I'm Juju Esther Bobby, Queen of Stars, and this is Angel. And I was thinking to put a little energy on Lady Gaga because I really like her. She's real, she's authentic, and she's got all kinds of sides that maybe you don't know about. So let me tell you about Lady Gaga and all her astrological profile. She's an Aries, passionate Aries, she's a tiger, go-getter. A Gemini rising, multitasking, and her birth vibration is one. She's a leader, and of course, she's an old, old soul. At least one million years, I would say. I would call her the avant-garde goddess. Oh, she's a goddess for sure. Of the impossible. I would even say that she is an alien from the fifth dimension. Look at this. Google it. That's very special people. They come here from another world. Her Mercury and Jupiter in Pisces gives her a direct line to the universe. She can talk to God, believe me. She's a magician too. And what she wants, she gets. What is her higher purpose of her life here on Earth? To entertain, my friends, and to heal. Yeah, she's a healer. And she knows how to forgive too. I like it. Other good stuff about her, well, She's a human dynamo, never stops. Her moon in harmony with the lucky Jupiter makes her very, very compassionate. She could have a hot temper, but she knows how to forgive and forget quickly. She's also very kind, altruistic. She protects all living creatures like my little baby here. Her Mars in powerful Capricorn that is teasing her daredevil Venus in Aries means that in love, guess what? She wears the pants. No other way. She needs to be in control and she will. So if you're the guy, you gotta wear a skirt. <laughs> Lady Gaga's son is in her social 11th house Aries, makes her a very confident leader who makes her own rules. She does not follow the rules of society. She creates new ones. She's in control of her own destiny and always, always, constantly raising the bar. I love her. Her really, really horizon sign in Gemini makes her also versatile, multitasking. Her moon in confident Scorpio, that's something else. That means she's close to mom, and it means also she's psychic. She can read your mind, so watch out. And she can read everything else, and she does not need to be reassured by other people. She has her own self-confidence, I love it. Also, it means that Lady Gaga, with her, what you see is maybe not what you get, not really like the real Aries. There's something deeper with that moon in Scorpio. She will always keep her private life private. She needs to be mysterious in her personal life, and I love it, and it will be like this forever. She also, like I said, a temper, but I love the, the way she's able to just forgive and move on. But if you really betray her, she'll walk away and never come back, although she'll smile at you. Her Mars in white Capricorn, close to dreamy Neptune, planet of dreams, gives her a strong dedication to work and self-discipline. That's why she could do two albums in one year, just like that. Her Saturn in Sagittarius, set, that's very important now, provides her with a lot of new ideas, innovation, new experiences, adventure all the time. She doesn't want to be bored. She could get bored just like that. And it's important this Saturn because Saturn now is in return in her chart in December 14. So she will enter what you call a Saturn transition that will bring her more stability, more time in your personal life. And in Korea, she'll want to slow down a little bit and take a break and reinvent herself even more. And we'll love it. You'll see within a two and a half years period, huh, she'll explode again, even more wild and wonderful than before. She's, she's a magician, what can I say? And she's healing us. So when you connect with Lady Gaga, open your arms, open your heart, and she has that healing power. And that's amazing. And Lady Gaga is teaming up with Tony Bennett, the Leo, who has now a connection with Jupiter and Leo. So Lady Gaga was very smart to team up with Tony Bennett. I met him when I was hosting the Telephone of Stars in Canada. And he's so cute, so charming, and he just is kicking. And guess what? He brings you luck. So good for you. 
Love you, Lady Gaga. Just keep healing, entertaining us, because there's only one like you. Ciao. Tell me, Georgia Westerbo.